It's a beautiful day in the middle of June, an absolutely perfect Saturday, and we find ourselves at the Utah Olympic Park, the sound of every form of belly flop ever known to man, and stomping beats it must be. The Slip and Soar, an annual get together here at Park City. We're gonna take a look at a whole a ton of fun here at the UOP. I'm learning a lot at the slip and soar. One of the things I'm learning is that you have to have the proper tunes to slip and soar properly. DJ Velvet, can you give us some advice on what is the perfect slip and soar playlist? Uh, you gotta keep it going, you gotta keep it upbeat. You gotta give them the hits, play some newer stuff, some top 40, go back, play a few classics, a few remixes, and uh, just keep it rolling, keep it funky, keep it fresh. Nice, it heard a little bit of 80s action in there, yeah. just something that always, kinda... Always gotta go a little bit of 80s. Everybody likes MJ, so you always go 80s right on. and uh, mix it up. You know, some people, some of us aren't that young anymore, so you got to go back, <laughs> but you got to keep it current too for the kids. So just keep it rolling, you know. Now I realize you're keeping your eyes on the new marks, but have you seen any great crashes or I don't exactly know what you call it, belly flops? Have you seen any good ones today? Uh, yeah, I got a I got a great seat here right by the takeoffs <laughs> on the two big jumps, so I've seen uh, seen some pretty good stuff. I've seen some smooth ones. Some smooth entries, and I've seen some smackers for sure. So, right valley back smackers, it's uh, fun to watch. Right on. Well, it's good to see you. Thank you for all you do for the slip and soar, man. And uh, we'll see you next edition, huh? All right. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks, you guys have a good one.
All right, you guys, you can't be a slip and sore without a cold beer. I've got Allison and Katie here. Ladies, how is your day today? Oh, it's awesome. It's pretty fun. So fun. The only thing is, is sometimes you hear the crowd kind of stop and go, oh, and I'm like, I just... Someone died. Someone yeah. passed and, and away. you don't know what's happening. Yeah, you can't see anything. You're so busy filling yeah. the patrons' needs for yes, beer. Yes. We better do a plug for Bidden Peach, huh? Yes, yes. Red Rock, which we're not serving today. Which we're not serving today. The reason... <laughs> <laughs> the reason why we're wearing the shirts because I'm the Forbidden Beach, but no, yeah. we're serving the Amber and a Pilster today from Red Rock. Miss Flanagan, you certainly are the Forbidden Beach. <laughs> <laughs> Is this y'all's first uh, slip and sore? Have you been here before? Have you done this event before? I have not. I've always liked it on Facebook and said oh, I'm yeah. going, and but never have. So this year I'm here and I'm going to do that. Are you doing it? That was my next oh, question. Yeah. Allison, are you I've done it. I've done the free ride. It was awesome. And I've been, it's my second summer here. And it's, a, love it. I right love Slip and Soar. It's a great event. So many people come out. So. Well, time. because I care about all of these very thirsty people, yeah. we're yeah, we cutting this interview oh, short because y'all yeah. got to do your thing. Oh, great. <laughs> nice Thank to you. see y'all. Nice. Red Rock Brewery. All right, we're here with Cole Nordman. He's the marketing man in front of and behind the Slip and Soar. It's a big event this year. You got a bunch of dates. Are you so stoked for the first one? We are so stoked. We've got the first one going off right behind us right now. We've got another one coming up on July 4th and then the third one on August 19th. So we're shaping up to have a good year for Slip and Soar. And I have to say, this is my first visit to the event. It's pretty dope. You got a lot of a lot of ramps going, a lot of people flying through. The lines aren't too long. No, the lines are actually pretty great today. We've got the mini ramp, the single top down, single top up, plus the free ride. So we've got four different ramps that everybody can go off of almost simultaneously. And from a business perspective, it's got to be a great event for you guys to get people out who might not fit in the typical demographic of events that take place here, whether it's Seagull Block or other things. Exactly. I mean. There's no skis required on Slip and Soar, so you can come in, no athletic ability whatsoever, and you can have a great time. Awesome, well, we appreciate your time, we appreciate the event, and are you getting out today? If I can, I will, you betcha. Right on, good to see you, brother. Thank you. All the best, thanks for opening up the park for us. Hey, we appreciate you. All right, man.